Okay, everyone. So today we're going to teach you how to set your fire stick up to accept our program. First, you're going to hook up your fire stick to your television. And this is what's going to load up. It's going to look for your remote. So we're going to hold down the button till we find our remote. Well, then we're going to hit the press start button. English. It's already connected to my to my Wi-Fi and it's going to download some software updates. So we'll pause while it does that. It's still downloading the latest software. Once downloaded, the Fire Stick will restart. Once it restarts, it's going to update the software that it just downloaded. This sometimes can take a few minutes. Sometimes it's pretty quick. Slowly but surely we're getting there. Don't get worried if it takes a long time. Right now I've been pausing the video. It's probably been taking about three or four minutes so far. So don't get worried. Let it do its thing. There we go. Getting ready to start up. Now it's going to scan for your network. Mine should already be set up, set up so it's going to check for updates again. And it's going to download some more software. Finishing updates. Hmm. Right now, this is technically taken about ten minutes so far. This fire stick is registered to myself, so we're going to continue. You are going to have to sign into your own Amazon account, and then you'll have to put in your Wi Fi password. It's going to ask to set up your remote for your television, so it'll operate your TV. You're going to hit next, it's going to play some sounds. And you can go up and down on your thing, and it found my television, so we're going to click yes. Your remote is successfully set up. Click OK. If you'd like, you can sign up for this. I don't need Amazon Kids, so I had no thanks. I don't want to set up any of their streaming services right now. I'm going to hit no thanks. I don't need any parental controls. It's just some informational screen. Got it. And then who's watching it? Obviously, the account you signed in is the one you're going to click on. And here we are on the main screen. The first thing you'll need to do is to make sure you have the program called Downloader. So if you see in the middle of the screen, you're going to go over to the Find. You're going to click down to search. You're going to click on it. You're going to start typing the word downloader. D. When downloader shows up down here, you're going to scroll down. 
and you're going to click on downloader. You will click on it again. I already own this app, so it's going to tell me that you own it. You can download it. Download it because I own it. If you don't own it, you'll click on it. It's a free download. So we're going to download Downloader. And it's going to install Downloader. Now at this point, you don't want to open the Downloader. You're going to want to hit the little house button on your remote, the home button, and click on that. After you do that, you're going to go, you'll be on your home screen. You're going to scroll all the way over to the right where the settings is. You're going to click on your settings. You're going to scroll down. And you're going to go down to where it says My Fire TV. You will click that. You're going to click the About on the, on the top. You're going to click it. And then you're going to click the Fire TV. TV stick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. That's going to open up what they call developer options. You will click your back button once, and now you will see developer options right there. It wasn't there a second ago, it is there now. You're going to click developer options. The ADB debugging, you're going to click on that, and that's going to turn it on. The apps from unknown sources, you're going to click that and you're going to turn it on. Once you do that, you're going to click your back button. And then you're going to go up to the word about. You're going to click about. And you're going to scroll down where it says install update. And you're going to click that. Now the fire stick is going to do more updates. Now it says check for updates. I want you to click that again. It's checking now. It's found another update to download. So it's going to download another update. At this point, I'm going to press pause while it does that. It's finishing updates. It might take a few minutes. Do not press any buttons on your Fire TV remote while it does this. Okay, so the update was installed. Now you'll see it's back on check for updates. I want you to click that again. Now I found another update. We're going to continue to do this until it tells you that your Fire Stick is up to date. This is very important for the program to run smoothly. I'm going to hit pause while it's downloading. We are still downloading the second update. It's still downloading that second update. Sometimes these downloads can take a little while. It might be hard to see, but under the word network, it was saying downloading update. Now it stopped downloading. We're going to click on install the update. It's finishing updates. Might take a few minutes. Do not press any buttons on the Fire TV remote. Some of these updates, they definitely take a long time. I would say anywhere between five minutes and maybe even 15 minutes between some of them. You may get lucky and your fire stick may only need one update. You need two, may need four. It all depends on the fire stick. Okay, that one is finished. We're going to check for updates again. And it, alas, I found another update. It's downloading. Now we'll, we'll install that update. That was a quick one. That one was pretty fast. We're going to check for updates again. Now, if you notice on the right, it says your Fire TV is up to date. That's exactly what we want to see. 
At this point, you're going to hit your back button once. It may go back to the home screen. If it does, you're going to go back over to where your settings are. And you're going to go back down to My Fire TV. And then you're going to scroll down to where it says Restart. And Restart. You do not want to hit Restore. If you hit Restore, it'll bring your Fire Stick back to factory defaults. And anything you've added into your Fire Stick and your registration will be totally wiped out. And you would have to start all over again. So we're on the Restart. Loading up now. Now that your fire stick has restarted, that means all the updates have taken place. We're going to scroll back over to the gear, your settings. And this time, I want you to scroll down to where it says Preferences. Click on Preferences. And you're going to scroll down to Privacy Settings. And we're going to turn off Device Usage. We're going to turn off Collect App Usage. We're going to turn off Internet-based ads. And then we're going to hit our back button. Also, you don't have to do this, but I also go down to Feature Content. And I click that, and I turn that off. And I turn the, the next one off. It's just less things for the Fire Stick while it's running to run in the background. It just helps it run smoother. Okay, so right now it's found an update for the remote, so we'll wait for it to update the remote. So it doesn't want you to touch anything on the remote for a minute. This is usually pretty quick. So it's almost done, actually. Perfect. Your Amazon remote was up to date. Now it brings you back here. You're going to click your back button. And you can click your back button again. And if you'd like, I'd like you to hit your home button now. It should bring you back to the home screen of the Fire Stick. Now we're going to scroll all the way over to where there's three little boxes and a plus sign next to the gear. And you're going to click that. You're going to scroll down to find Downloader, which we downloaded earlier, and you're going to click on that. You're going to allow it, then you're going to click OK. OK, now we're, that we're in Downloader, you're going to see a URL box above where it says Go. You're going to click your cursor in there, and you're going to click your Center button. You click that button, this is your OK button. And you're going to type in this code. This is the code for the wire free app. 881974. Once you click that in there, you're going to scroll down to where it says go. Click go. It's going to redirect. Allow it to redirect. and it's going to download the wire free app now once it's done downloading we're going to need to install it so you wait for this box to pop up there'll be a little Android guy that's going to show up or not but as long as on the bottom of your screen it says install click down there click to the right once Click install. There's the Android guy. 
Now, once it's done installing, I do not want you to open it. All I want you to do is click done, and you will see that on the bottom of the screen now. Click done. Over here, you can click delete and delete. Once you do that, you hit your home button on your remote, brings you back to the main screen of the Fire Stick. Now to find this app and put it on the front of your screen, we're gonna scroll all the way over to where it shows the three boxes and the plus sign. It's next to the gear. Click on that. You're gonna scroll all the way down to where you see Wire Free TV. Do not click on it. Just hover over it like we just did. On your remote, next to your helm button, there's a button with three lines on it. I want you to click the three lines, and on the right of the screen, you'll see the pop-up. You're gonna scroll down to where it says Move to Front. Click on Move to Front. Once you do that, click your Home button. Now, if you'll notice on the main part of your screen, Wire Free is the first app. When you're ready for your service, you will call me, text me. I will get you a username and password for that, and I will show you how to put that in when the time comes. When you open up the Wire Free app, it's going to look like this. Obviously, you're on a television, so you're going to click Save. And this is where you'll put your username and password in that I provide for you. Hope this video helps, and we'll be making a few more videos to help you keep everything running smooth. Thanks for watching.